Hello everyone. Welcome to the Perceptron learning role. Second example, the uh, uh, R gate to be implemented by using the Perceptron learning role. First, we have to check the given data set is uh, linear or non-linear. The R gate uh, uh, data is here with respect to two inputs, X1 and X2. Both are acting as uh, features in the uh, machine learning. Then this is the target output. So here, uh, based upon this, we have to uh, check the data is linearly separable or not, 0,0. .0. Uh, negative class and uh, remaining uh, all three are positive class samples 0 comma 1 so this is uh, positive class here and uh, then uh, 1 comma 0 is positive class and 1 comma 1 also positive class we have to check is it linearly separable or not yes this is linearly separable then we can go for uh, finding the activation function with respect to this uh, given data sets the activation function here is uh, the linear sum uh, with respect to some threshold value so threshold value is given here as a 1 and the learning rate is 0 0.5 initially the weights w1 and w2 both are taken as a 0 we are uh, drawing the picture here for uh, perceptron uh, two inputs x1 and x2 then corresponding out uh, uh, the weight factors w1 and w2 this is the linear sum because we are having the linear separable data then threshold value here we are using based upon this uh, activation function uh, which is uh, having the one as a threshold value now the w0 bias is not given for this uh, perceptron uh, otherwise it is called b so one is uh, the input here which is called as x0 if it is not given then we can take the w0 equal to 0 now uh, we have to find the updated weights to classify all the four samples perfectly so now based upon this we will find the threshold value and equation y dash should be positive sample whenever the predicted output is greater than 1 based upon this linear sum equation and if it is less than 1 then it is 0 based upon this linear sum value. The, now we will uh, apply the perceptron learning rule to the sample number 1 to find out the predicted output here the uh, w0 x0 is here w0 is 0 x0 is uh, 1 because the positive sam uh, pa uh, always the input is positive 1 for the uh, bias w0 or b then w1 x1 we, uh, which is uh, given here w1 is 0 x1 is here 0 so both are substituted here w2 is 0 and x2 is 0 both are substituted here we are getting the value then comparing with the threshold value which is less than 1 so the, if it is less than 1 our value will be 0 so predicted output is 0 now compare the predicted output with the actual output both are uh, match so it is correctly classified if it is correctly classified weights need not to be updated then go for a sample number 2 now x1 is 0 x2 is 1 w1 and w2 both are 0 so substitute the values here w0 x0 w1 x1 w2 x2 so here x2 is here 1 then we are getting the value is 0 compare with the threshold value less than 1 if it is less than 1 our output is actual predicted output is 0 then predicted output is compared with the actual output so here predicted output is 0 but actual output is 1 so both are mismatching it is called a misclassification if it is misclassified weights to be updated for updating the weights so here we are uh, going to apply the uh, perceptron rule here wi equal to wi plus delta wi delta wi equal to learning rate into actual output minus predicted output into the corresponding uh, in, uh, feature input value now sample number two to be uh, check with the updated weights initially uh, weights are w1 w2 or 0 x1 is 0 for the sample number 2 and x2 is 1 so learning rate is already given in the problem statement threshold also given so here the as per the a rule wi equal to wi plus delta wi so delta wi we are going to do that initially we are taking w1 learning rate is 0 0.5 actual output minus 
predicted output so here the actual output is 1 and predicted output is 0 and its corresponding input the feature value is 0 so now substituting all the values you are getting 0 right then substituting here w1 equal to w1 plus delta w1 so w1 initially weight is 0 this 0 calculated uh, delta w1 is also 0 so actually it is plus okay so uh, 0 plus 0 which is 0 then here for w2 we are substituting the values learning rate uh, actual output minus predicted output here and corresponding uh, input feature value so here this is 1 x2 is 1 so substituting all the values you are getting the 0 0.5 w2 equal to w2 plus delta w2 already w2 is 0 plus calculated delta w is 0 0.5 so which is 0 0.5 now you see the w2 is updated as 0 0.5 from the 0 we are having new weights 0 and 0 0.5 for w1 or w2 apply the uh, this weights to the same sample two right is it correctly classifying or not so when you are applying this values w0 x0 uh, w1 x1 right so w1 uh, x1 is 0 so sample number 2 and w2 is newly updated weights 0 0.5 and x2 is here 1 so when you are applying this values you are getting 0 0.5 comparing with the threshold value threshold value is 1 so which is less than 1 if it is less than 1 then y dash uh, is 0 for the sample number 2 then uh, comparing with the predicted output and actual output here uh, actual output is 1 predicted output is 0 again it is misclassified so again we have to update the weights when you are updating the weights here uh, w1 is 0 w2 equal to 0 0.5 x1 is 0 for the sample number 2 and uh, x2 is 1 so based upon that when you are updating the uh, weights here uh, delta w1 alpha into actual output is 1 here and predicted output is here 0 then both are substituted here and x1 is here 0 then when you are substituting you are getting the 0 w1 is now uh, we are calculating here uh, delta w1 is 0 the w1 we have taken here is 0 so 0 plus 0 we are getting 0 then w2 to be updated delta w2 uh, 0 0.5 is the learning rate uh, actual output is 1 predicted output is 0 and x2 x2 is here 1 so 1 is substituted here we are getting the 0 0.5 w2 again we are going to update here 0 0.5 is the w2 it is there and uh, delta w1 w2 is 0 0.5 we are getting new w2 is 1 so now updated weights are w1 equal to 0 and w2 equal to 1 so based upon that again apply this new weights into the sample number 2 when you are substituting the values w0 x0 w1 x1 and w2 you can look at that w2 is updated and x2 is here already given in the data set 1 you are getting the 1 so 1 is greater than or equal to 1 okay 1 is greater than or equal to 1 if it is 1 greater than or equal to 1 then predicted output is 1 now checking uh, the uh, with the actual output uh, predicted output is also 1 actual output is also 1 so both are correctly uh, matching so uh, it is correctly classified so weights are need not to update here then uh, this updated uh, weights to be uh, checked with all the samples given here uh, already sample 2 is checked now we will check with uh, remaining samples we will go to the sample number 1 and substituting the newly updated values w1 is 0 and w2 equal to 1 so w0 x0 w1 x1 w2 x2 right for the sample number 1 so you are getting the value 0 comparing with the threshold value 1 which is less than 1 now 
classifying as a y dash equal to 0. Comparing with the actual output, y dash is predicted output 0 and the actual output is 0. So, both are matching. So, it is correctly classifying. So, need not to update the weight. Then, uh, go to the sample number 2. Here, x1 is 0 and x2 is 1. Actual output is 1. Now, uh, substitute the values here. w0, x0 plus w1, x1 plus w2, x2. Uh, here, uh, we are getting the 0, uh, which is comparing with the threshold value, which is less than 1. So, the predicted value for the third sample, yeah, this is for third sample, okay. So, because second sample already done in the previous slide, so this is for third sample. So, here W1, W1 is 0 and X1 is here 1 and W2 is here 1 and X2 is here 0. So, that is what we have uh, substituted here. So, for the third sample, we are getting 0 which is less than 1. So, predicted output is 0 but actual output is 1. So, it is misclassified. So, we have to update the weights again. When you are having the old weights W1 equal to 0 and W2 equal to 1, the inputs are for the third sample 1 comma 0 and the learning rate given here. So, you apply the perceptor and rule uh, when you are updating the weight 1. Uh, with corresponding input here 1. So, we are substituting the values here alpha into actual output minus predicted output. So, actual output is 1, predicted output is here 0. So, we have substituted here, we are getting uh, the x1 is 1. So, now delta w1 is the 0 0.5. Now, we are applying the rule w1 is here 0 and uh, calculated delta w1 is 0 0.5. When we are adding, you are getting the 0 0.5. W2 alpha is 0 0.5 actual output is here given 1 minus predicted output is 0 then x2 is here 0 okay we are substituting the x2 is 0 here now we are getting the 0 so w2 uh, already we are having here 1 so 1 plus 0 here we are getting 1 uh, so apply this newly updated weights w1 and w2 to the sample number 3 so you are getting the value when you are substituting the values w0 x0 w1 newly updated weight here w1 and x1 w2 x2 you are getting 0 0.5 which compared with the threshold value here less than 1 so y3 dash is 0 but actual output is here 1 so it is misclassified need need to update the weights when you are updating the weights with respect to sample number 3 old weight for the w1 0 0.5 w2 equal to 1 the input x1 is 1 x2 is 0 actual output is 1 threshold value is 1 alpha is 0 0.5 you are applying the uh, delta w1 alpha 0 0.5 actual output is 1 and predicted output in the previous slide misclassified in 0 then substituting the value for the x1 this sample 0 0.5 5 the uh, result here then update the weights w1 plus delta w1 so w1 is 0 0.5 calculated delta w1 is 0 0.5 so you are getting the 1 then de uh, w2 delta w2 is here uh, alpha 0 0.5 actual output is 1 minus predicted output 0 into x2 x2 is here 0 so that is substituted here you are getting the value 0 so w2 here already 1 plus calculated delta w1 is 0 so you are getting 1 now uh, you got w1 is 1 w2 is 1 apply the uh, updated weights to the sample number 3 uh, is it correctly classifying or not you look at that w0 x0 w1 x1 newly updated weight uh, x1 is here 1 and uh, w2 here is 1 and uh, uh, x2 is here 0 we got it now you call calculating the predicted output is 1 so 1 greater than or equal to 1 with comparing the threshold value now you are getting the positive sample here actual output and predicted output here both are matching okay if both are matching that means it is correctly classified so need not to update the weights then go to the sample number 4 okay sample number 4 you are checking here sample number 4 uh, when you are substituting the values w0 x0 w1 
here we got newly updated value and x1 is here 1 and w2 is here 1 and uh, x2 is here 1. So, when you are apply applying the calculation, you are getting 2 greater than or equal to 1 comparing the threshold value. So, predicted output is 1 compare with the actual output. So, here both are matching. Uh, if both are matching, it is uh, correctly classified. So, weights need not to update. Then you check this updated weights to sample number 1 and 2. Okay, 4 and 3 come checked now. 1 and 2 has to be done. So, you are checking with the 1 and 2 here x1 is 0, x2 is 0. So, when you are applying that w0, x0, w1 here 1, right? w2 or the x1 is 0, w2 here 1 and x2 is 0, you are getting 0 comparing with threshold less than 1. So, y1 dash is 0. Uh, here actual output y1 is also 0. So, both are matching. So, correctly classified need not to update the weight. Then check with the sample number 2. Here when you are substituting the values w0 x0 w1 1 x, oh, x1 is 0 and w2 is 1 and x1 x2 is uh, 1. So, comparing this with the threshold value greater than or equal to 1. So, y dash y2 dash is also 1. So, predicted output uh, 1 and actual output is also 1. So, both are correctly classified. Weights need not to update. You look at that. Now, we have checked S1, S2, S3, S4. All the samples are perfectly classified now. So, all the samples if perfectly classified, we can stop the algorithm. So, the R gate data is perfectly implemented by using the perceptron rule. So, all samples are uh, perfectly classified, all the data samples here by using the perceptron learning rule. Thanks for watching.